This thing right here, this thing right here is amazing. It's fast, it's accurate. The DTFs look absolutely gorgeous. Huge transfer right here. Press, 15 seconds. All right, all done with that. All right, nice and easy. All right, everybody, so this is my Racoma 2402 DTF printer. And I can honestly say on this day, in this video, that I have fallen in love truly and deeply with this DTF printer. It's fast, it's accurate. The DTFs look absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's fast, it's fast. And once you get the hang of it, it's fast and easy to use. Did I mention that it's fast? Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Doug, you ready? Wait a minute. So just for pressing sake, let's press this big transfer right here. All right, and I'm just gonna grab any shirt that I had laying around. Nothing in particular, nothing special. Mm -hmm. Just to try the transfer to show you how easy it is to press. I'm going to press it now. Press it down, just to get all the wrinkles out in a couple seconds. All right, that should be sufficient. Raise this up, transfer on, huge transfer right here. All right, cover sheet on, a little bit more pressure on here. Put that down, press, 15 seconds. One, all right. All done with that. All right. Nice and easy. Hot peel. So how smooth that was, guys. So how smooth that was, right? So how easy that came off, right? Mm-hmm. I know. You see it. You see it. Don't see the black part because it's black right there, but see the image real good, though. Ooh. Sicker, sicker now, sicker, sicker now, sicker, sicker now. I don't have to worry about any heads clogging. I now don't have to worry about any shifting of the white and the color ink. That's a learning curve that you have to figure out. There are some nuances with this machine that I think that you should be trained on that you aren't. But I guess in this video, I'm going to try to acquaint you with those nuances so that you guys won't have the difficulty that I had. And this is just like any other type of machine. You get it, you have to figure it out before you're off to the races making money. And I got this thing figured out to the T. I'm confident in my ability. I came in today and started printing like crazy. It's Monday right now and last Friday I decided to come in the studio early and take my time and sit down with the machine and go over it along with the computer settings and man it was worth all the time that I spent. After I figured out how to align the print head so it won't get misaligned again on Friday, I printed more DTFs on Friday alone than I've ever printed in my whole entire life in my DTF journey. I've only been playing with DTFs for like, I don't know, maybe like nine to 10 months now, but I, I've printed more DTFs on Friday with this machine than I have ever. And today, I'll probably print more, more DTFs than Friday, not probably. I definitely will today print more DTFs than I did Friday. So um, this machine is amazing. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's talk about some nuances about this printer right here. All right, so the reason why you don't have to worry about print heads getting clogged on this particular printer is because 
at the end of the day when you're done printing you just press this button right here the print head goes to the other side All right stop when it gets there then you clean this channel and this channel you put this channel first of all you clean the edges with a lint free wipe and some uh, cleaning solution then you fill this channel right here with a syringe and fill that channel right there with, with a syringe and then press enter on the screen right here then the uh, print heads come back over to this area right here and then it this automatically goes up and then the print heads sit inside of cleaning solution every night while you are not using it it's impossible for the print heads to clog because they're sitting in cleaning solution all night long hey guys if you have not subscribed to my channel yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget when you subscribe hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload videos like this or any of the other content that i'm going to upload in the future you don't want to miss it guys because I'm trying to help you guys out, so let's do it. All right, so one thing about this printer right here. This head is virtually impossible to get clogged because it sits in cleaning solution while it's not in use. So every night before you leave, before you leave your printing area, you are going to press over right here. See how that goes down? Push that over there. Let that sit right there for a while. You're gonna clean around the maintenance station and then you're gonna take a syringe, get some of the cleaning solution in that bottle right there and pull that channel, fill it up to the top, fill it up to the top to the brim. Then you press enter right here. This comes back and this goes up to make the print head sit inside a cleaning solution. Let me show you. If I press enter, it's gonna come back and watch that. that goes up the print head goes up and now it's sitting inside the print head inside the cleaning solution so that's how this stays from getting clogged all right let me show you something in the back oh also over here on that side if you ever want to wipe off the head you can push over and then it's got like a mirror right now it's got some black ink on it it's got like a mirror so you can easily see the print head and see how dirty it is or if it in fact does need to be cleaned. I also wipe these off um, at the end of each night after I'm done printing. Another thing that they don't tell you about is the fact that if any of those inks right there get low on ink, you see those, see those lights right there? First of all, that's the power button right there to turn that off. You never want to turn that off. Um, but I have a piece of tape over here because this thing starts to beep and it gets loud, but if you put a tape right over here, that's the actual speaker system, that makes it like a little less loud, all right? So, the reason why it starts beeping, and it never stops beeping, if any of these ink channels gets low on ink, it will start to beep and it will not stop until you put more ink inside of it. So make sure you have at least two bottles of white ink and my white ink I can see getting low right now I got to order some more white ink because I have none in the studio um, my magenta I got to order some I got to order some of oh it's black everything is low right now so I got to order some of everything all right so at the end of the night you come over here and you close off each of these all right close off each of those because I'm done printing for the day and in the morning you open them back up all right now there's a system right here it's like a roller wheel type of system if you put this oh my gosh can't see it hold on all right so this is the back of the printer i've turned on the light so we should be good now all right let's go all right so this is the roller wheel right notice there's a power button right here right now it's on if i flick it the other direction it's going to roll backwards all right it's not going to roll backwards right now but that's what it does in the middle where the circle is that's off this is the direction you want to turn it in so that it can feed and it can be happy, all right? Um, if you operate with a machine like this, because they don't tell you exactly how this works, so it's real easy to forget to turn that off or neglect it because they don't tell you the operation. I think it's important for people to know the operation and functionality of this. What this does in the off position, um, this 
roll feed system right here. It has like a little roller in the middle right over here, a little bar that goes up and down. This bar tells this to roll some more film out. And if this is not on, like it's not on right now, when your printer goes to pull, um, pull some film, it'll have to pull too hard and it'll throw off the white alignment from the color alignment. And that's the problem that I was having when I first got this thing. And I did not know why I would keep on trying to line it up in the computer and it just would not line up. I would go to test it. It will pull a little bit, test it again. It will pull a little bit. And every single test, even if I made a, no adjustments on the computer, I do just run the same test twice, it would give me two different readings. Now that was throwing me off. And the reason why is because this switch wasn't on. And when I would go to, uh, when it would pull the printer, when it would pull the uh, sheet through, it would pull some through and then it would jerk and it would pull a little ac excess, a little extra through and that would like throw the alignment off. So to combat that, I would just unroll some of the film down. But overnight when I thought about it, I'm like, well, maybe it's because it has something to do with this switch. So today I came on, turned on the switch and everything worked fine. So you got to remember to turn that switch on. Also. You never want to operate this lever by itself, right? You always want to use this button right here, all right? This button, what that does is that releases the pinch rollers right there, all right? Let me show you again. These are the pinch rollers. This button right here raises that lever. Watch. Uh, let me see if I can hold it like this. All right, that's what that button does. I'm holding the camera with my um, face now. And then if I push it again, the lever goes down. All right, so that's what that does. And there's another one in the front that does the same thing. Let me show you that one. This one right here in the front does the same thing. It releases the pinch rollers and it raises and lowers it. All right, so um, that's it for that. The dryer is a whole nother can of worms. We're not gonna get into that. But just know guys that this printer is amazing. Right now, I'm going to wet cap it so you can see how that works. Let me go get my syringe and I'm going to fill my syringe, this syringe right here, up with cleaning solution and we're going to wet cap this thing. So now let's say I'm done printing for the day. I'm going to go ahead and make this head go all the way over and now I'm going to start cleaning my uh, the areas that need to be cleaned, right? All right, so I'm gonna get some cleaning solution, put it on this lint-free wipe right here, and start wiping around the areas that need to be cleaned. All right, so first I'm gonna wipe around here. Try to keep my stuff nice and tidy. All right, nice and clean. Wipe this right here, any, any ink that may have fallen onto there, because this the, the print heads do leak, all right, occasionally, all right? so. Try to keep your stuff clean, looking nice. You treat your stuff right, it'll treat you right. All right. Wiper blade, wipe that off gently. All right, see all that ink? Now we're gonna go around this maintenance station right here, the color maintenance station. Go around that, wipe that off. And now you might wanna get another lint-free wipe, but I have an area right here that's not that dirty, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some more cleaning solution on there. And I'm going to go ahead and go around the white maintenance station and go ahead and wipe that off nice and gently. All right, now all of that is clean. Now I'm going to get my syringe that has cleaning solution in it. And I'm just going to, let me get you guys a close up. Let me get you guys close up on here so you guys can see. All right, so now I'm just going to squirt some um, cleaning solution in here. Put some cleaning solution in here. Now, when the print head comes back, all night long, it's gonna be sitting in cleaning solution. That's what they, they don't tell you this, guys. They say they do, they say it's in the instructions, but if it's something that important, now I'm press enter, for something that important, you should be told that. You should be told that. Now this goes up.
and the maintenance station came up and now it's sitting in cleaning solution. Can't get clogged, no way. Now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna wipe this off right here. All right, boom, wipe clean that off right there and pretty much done for the day. All right. Easy peasy, keep it nice and clean. Now, after you've done all that, the print, printer is still on. It's still on, and you want to leave it on. You want to leave the printer on, right? So this right here is the button to turn the printer off. Don't turn that off. Leave that on. But you see right here, you hear a noise, and that's the suction right here that's on. So what you can do is you can turn that suction off by just pressing this button right here. Press it. All right. All right. Press it. It's kind of weird because it's a screen. Now turn that off, but the printer is still on. All right, so it's still functioning. So that, because you want the white agitator to always be agitating the white ink so it doesn't get clogged. But in this mode right here, I've left it sit already for, I don't know, maybe about three days at a time. And um, I know you can leave it sit for, more, for longer than that, but because the machine is on, the white ink is circulating, and guess what? and the head is sitting in cleaning solution so we're good to go all right we are good to go all right i'm going to put this down and that's pretty much the nuances of that this right here is a whole nother can of worms maybe we'll get into that another day but we don't really need to because this is the main component and unless you're buying it um i don't think i need to get into all of that but uh i printed a whole lot today guys you guys saw I printed some of these, some a reprint right there, a whole bunch of these that I gotta that I gotta cut out and separate. Printed a whole bunch of these, a few of these black bears right here. You know what I mean? A whole bunch of sample transfers I printed. Look, this is a, like a whole thick stack of sample transfers I printed right here today. All right, so we got a bunch of those just in case you guys need some samples. So I just got finished printing up these that I said I was gonna do on yesterday's live and they came out looking amazing. Everything lined up perfectly. And I'm gonna put them on my website for sale if you guys want any of these for um, the holiday approaching, which is Valentine's Day. Stay tuned for more transfers. It's gonna be listed on the site, alanaway.com for Valentine's Day. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the nuances of this here printer. Oh, the software and lining the white ink up with the color. I think that deserves a whole nother video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that video or not. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but uh, that video probably is not gonna get a lot of views, so I might not do it because I don't think that many people are interested in it. But once you figure this part out, which is not that difficult um, to figure out, it's just a little bit tedious initially but once you do it one or two times, which you're gonna have to, or three or four or five or six times, um, you'll have it down. And once the printer is feeding the, the film through properly, you won't have any problems finding the registration and stuff like that. And it's not as difficult as it seems. It's just overwhelming initially. But after that, you will be good to go. Getting banging, nice, clean prints like this, man. Man, solid. Look at that solid white right there. Thing is crazy good. I'm telling y'all, man. AlanAWay.com. Order your DTF transfers right now. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. I gotta get out of here. Eagles playing tonight. And we are, I don't know. Um, it's not looking so good for us. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. I listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby.